He rhinoceros, often called the rhino, is one of the largest and most powerful land animals on Earth. Recognizable by its thick gray skin and large horn, the rhino has existed for millions of years, dating back to prehistoric times. Despite its intimidating appearance, the rhino is a peaceful herbivore. It spends most of its day grazing on grasses, leaves, and shrubs. Rhinos are known to wallow in mud, which helps cool their bodies and protect their skin from sunburn and insect bites. There are five main species of rhino, two in Africa, the black rhino and the white rhino, and three in Asia, the Indian, Javan, and Sumatran rhinos. Each species is unique in size, horn shape, and behavior. The African white rhino is the largest, while the Sumatran rhino is the smallest and most rare. Unfortunately, rhinos are facing a severe threat, extinction. Over the past century, rhino populations have dropped dramatically due to illegal poaching. People hunt rhinos mainly for their horns, which are falsely believed to have medicinal powers in some cultures, although science shows otherwise. In reality, rhino horn is made of keratin, the same material found in human fingernails. The high demand for rhino horns has made them more valuable than gold on the black market, putting these gentle giants at constant risk. Conservation groups, wildlife rangers and governments are working hard to protect rhinos. This includes using technology like drones and GPS tracking, guarding rhinos in national parks, and breeding them in captivity to help increase their numbers. Some communities are even involved in ecotourism, where visitors can see rhinos in the wild, bringing awareness and support for their protection. Saving the rhino is not just about protecting a single species, it's about preserving entire ecosystems, as rhinos play a key role in shaping their environment. Without them, many plants and animals would be affected. The survival of rhinos is a test of our ability to live in harmony with nature. If we act now, we still have a chance to ensure that future generations will be able to see these magnificent creatures not just in books, but in the wild where they belong.